La 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 la, I love school. Did I remember to do last night's math homework? I should probably check. Ouch! What's that disgusting smell? Is that my breath? Ew. I wonder what this is. Breath mints? A band-aid? This is exactly what I need. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my first video in my back to school series, which is my DIY emergency kit for school. And I know um, a lot of you guys are probably expecting a birthday haul, but I'm going to be pushing that back until I do a few back to school videos um, because you're going to need back to school videos before my birthday haul because my birthday haul can kind of just be pushed back for as long as possible whereas my back to school videos kind of need to be out before people start going to school. So anyways, I'm really sorry if you were looking forward to a birthday haul. I promise that I will do one, but it will just be later on. So anyways, let's just get right into the video. So I'm just going to keep a little running total of everything that I can fit in here just to prove to you guys of how much you can actually fit into a small bag. So let's start off with the bag. This bag is from Target. I think it's like the brand Contents or something, but it is a perfect size for everything that I needed to put in here. If you have to put in more things or maybe you think you don't need as much, you can change the bag size which is very nice so anyways let's get into it so the first thing in here is this little bath and body works hand sanitizer because i think schools are kind of dirty and nasty and personally i want my hands to smell good and so i have this little hand sanitizer in there the next thing in here is this country chic lotion from bath and body works and I don't know about you, but my hands get super dry during the winter, so I just thought that I would include that. The next two things are mainly for before and after gym, and that is just my Dove Ultimate Go Fresh deodorant, as well as this little Ulta perfume, because I personally don't want to smell after gym, and I bet you don't want to either. The next things in here are really only necessary if you have contacts, and that is just contact solution and case because if something goes wrong with your contacts throughout the day you're gonna want to take them out because it hurts <laughs> the next item I keep in my little kit is just this pop-up hairbrush and a mirror that comes with the hairbrush because I don't know about you but this is like my most needed thing my hair gets crazy throughout the day and I also like the little mirror so that you can touch up on makeup do whatever but it's very convenient and I believe I got this at Target. This next thing is something that I like to have for school and it is just mints. I don't know about you guys but if your breasts are small throughout the day you're gonna want to fix that and mints are going to help you. I would say to bring gum but a lot of schools have policies with no gum including my school so mints instead. I don't know if this is weird, but personally, I like to bring floss because if something gets stuck in your teeth after lunch and stuff, you're going to want to get that out. Plus, it does help freshen breath, so that's always a good thing. The next three items I have in here are all makeup items, so I'm going to start off with this little concealer. I would personally pick a small gel consistency concealer not like a liquid form because then I would feel like I have to bring powder and this is the NYX lightweight concealer and you know if a blemish comes up it during the day or you didn't have time to put on concealer in the morning it comes in handy next is this Stila lip glaze and I just personally like to wear lip gloss throughout the day and if my lip product starts to come off I can just slap this bad boy on. The next thing is a necessity mainly for the winter and that is the Vaseline Lip Therapy. Um, it doesn't have to specifically be this one, but I do like to have a chapstick or some sort of lip therapy product with me for the winter because my lips get very chapped and disgusting. 
So that was all in the main compartment of the bag. And then I have this little zipper pocket as well as this like open pocket. So I will be going into the open pocket first. In here I just like to keep some band-aids because you never know when a cut is going to occur and whenever you're going to cut yourself on accident and you don't want it to get infected so I keep band-aids in here. The next thing I keep in here are cough drops because I get colds a lot in the winter and I always seem to forget cough drops and they're handy in the winter time. Now I'm just going to open the zipper pocket. In here I keep some q-tips which might seem kind of odd but if something smudges throughout the day with your makeup q-tips come in handy just to like help fix it up and wipe it off and I prefer these over makeup wipes because you can also like touch up your makeup instead of just removing it. The last two things I have in here are kind of a gimme and they're just hair ties and also bobby pins because as I said my hair gets crazy and I mean if you don't need a hair tie, someone else needs a hair tie. Trust me. So that is all I keep in my little emergency kit. Um, at, like I said, these are kind of just suggestions. You can always add in things to the kit or take things out. But these are some ideas of what to keep in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very useful for back to school. Comment below some things that you want to see in my back to school series and I will be sure to do some of them. Love you guys. Bye. Tic Tacs for life. I'm going, oh shoot. Big bun. He might. The next thing is a necessity mainly for the winter, but it, the next thing is the,